Hi, my name is Lucas Weekly. A lot of you may have noticed from my blog and from my videos that I have a new tricopter. Well, today I'm going to show you how to design, how to build, and how to fly a tricopter. So stay tuned. What is a tricopter? So a tricopter, as its name implies, is a three-bladed helicopter. So how this works is there's three motors, and they're all controlled by this controller board with gyros on them, which makes it very stable and a great candidate for aerial videography, which is what I'm going to use it for. How do you design a tricopter? To better explain the shape and design of a tricopter, let's go to this visual. Okay, to start off with the design of the tricopter, you start off with the triangle and then draw lines perpendicular from the corners to the adjacent side. Then you put on the motors and make sure that the props don't get involved in anything. And then put on a base to hold the controller board. Now the camera that I'm using is called the GoPro and it has quite a bit of field of view. So you have to move it up and build a platform for it to stand on. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey Lucas, why don't you build a quadcopter? Those look really simple to build and they look easier to fly too. Well, remember back to the problem with the field of view with the GoPro? Well, because the arms of the quadcopter are 90 degrees apart, the GoPro has to be moved up way far forward, and you have to put a really big base on it, which will throw it off balance. So that's why I'm not doing it. And then also, the quadcopter motors usually are really close to the body, so you either have to mount the motors on top or bottom of the quadcopter, and I don't want to do that either. Now that we know the basic shape of the tricopter, let's finalize the design and get ready for fabrication. So the design is pretty simple, you just have to keep in mind to make sure it's all in a triangle and make sure the arms have it like more than 15 inches because then that makes it very stable. Um, remember that the back motor mount has to tilt with a servo in order to yaw the tricopter. Make the legs sturdy enough that they withstand the impact of hitting the ground but weak enough that they'll break instead of the arms breaking if you get into a major crash. Now that the design is done, let's go to the 3D printer and print everything out. All the pieces are printed out of a very sturdy ABS plastic, which makes them almost indestructible. The only things I had to reprint were the legs, but that's understandable. After everything was printed, it was pretty simple to put it all together, especially with my designs. Time to solder. None of the electronic components came with their connectors built in, so you have to solder them on yourself. Be careful, as all the connectors stay very hot even after you solder them. Ask me how I know that. After you finish building it, it should look something like this but you'll have your own design so it won't look exactly like this. Well, I was going to show you how to set the gyros and fly the tricopter, but unfortunately, as I was flying it, it crashed, of course, and it broke the arm, so I can't show you anymore how to do that. And unfortunately, I didn't have anyone videotaping it, so there's no third-person shots of the tricopter flying. So you can only see what the GoPro sees on the tricopter. So you can see that right up there. So my plans for the tricopter right now is I'm probably going to go back and redesign it and go to the laser cutter again, like my first one, and go have it laser cut, but instead of acrylic, I'm going to try to get Delrin, so it'll be stronger, and instead of having a motor mount on all the 
motors. I'm just going to zip tie them all on like RC Explorer did. So that's it for this video. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the rest of it or how I finished it. So hopefully in my Tricopter version 2.5 video, I'll be able to show you how to fly and do all that stuff. I want to give a special thanks to David Vindestel from rcexplorer.se because he gave me the initial idea to do this and he showed a lot of on his website how to build a tricopter and of course his works really well. And also FPV Stockham who helped me a lot with figuring out how to wire everything and then making sure like he, I asked him questions and he'd give me answers and it was really nice. And you can check out his site too. So this is going to be like the final tricopter video for a while now because I have to go redesign everything and go laser cut everything out. So I won't have another tricopter for a while, but in the meantime, I think I'll be doing a few other things and just stay tuned to this channel and subscribe so you don't miss the next upcoming shows. Thanks for watching. Bye. FPV. Yay. Finally. I've been wanting to do FPV for a really long time. And I finally, for my birthday, I got an FPV system. So I just recently put it on my tricopter and it crashed.